Hey, what's up guys? As you can see, I've had a little bit of an accident uh, with my Tiny Hawk here, a splinted acro outside, doing a power loop. Um, didn't quite make it. Smashed into some concrete. As you can see, I've really kind of beat this thing up a little bit, right? We've broken some spindles, uh, which are easy, pretty easy repairs. Um, but it's time for a new frame. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It uh, doesn't look too terribly difficult, uh, but I haven't done this before, so you're going to have to bear with me. Now, I went with the, uh, the black frame because I think that looks pretty darn slick. Um, battery. And I'm going to add some black um, quad props. Uh, I like the quad props because you can do turtle mode. Now I got all my stuff from uh, Good Venture Drones, uh, Team GVD, awesome company, great customer service. Uh, the uh, frame here cost me, I think, uh, $8.99 and the props I think were $2.99. So that's a pretty darn good deal. So uh, we're going to get this thing looking sharp and brand new and flying uh, pretty well. So. Uh, step one, I would say, is going to be to take off the props. Now, normally, I'd probably take a little bit better care here of this frame, um, but it's, it's coming off. So the best way to really do this is to kind of push down here in the center um, and then just kind of try and grip it and push it forward. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with that since this frame is coming apart. Uh, I'm just going to kind of, well, try to gorilla it off. All right, step two, I'm going to go ahead and take this battery holder off here. Just a couple of screws. Now, I highly recommend you have something like this tray here to put uh, anything metal or small so you can find it later. So four screws here. You just need a tiny little screwdriver to do this. So if we look here, it's all kind of soft mounted here. I just need to pop off my motors. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove these screws here from the motors and take the motors off. Uh, they're mounted here, uh, just plugs, so that's pretty darn easy. Three screws per motor. Again, I'm using just one of these Tiny little screwdrivers. They're not the best, but you know, I don't have any other options because I'm dealing with really tiny screws. And this is where this uh, magnetic tray is going to really come in handy. Of course, uh, these motors, if it haven't been magnets, also comes in handy because they will uh, sometimes when they fall out stick to the uh, to the side of the motor. You just have to make sure you're not losing any of these because that would be uh, that'd be bad news. You definitely need all your motor mounts. So this crash that I did, um, so I'm not a super excellent acro pilot yet, and I say yet because I'm working on it. Um, it's a uh, process to learn how to fly, right? Hopefully. Every day I fly, I'm a little bit better, and, um, you know, acro is a skill. It takes some time. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the screws first, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, unplug these motors. Okay, now I got all the screws out. I can start to unplug these. Let's see the best way to do it. down a little bit and then I like to get my fingernails in there pull out okay then um, we've got the camera mounted in here you can see that 
So this is something I was having issues. It kept coming out um, when I'd crash. Uh, so <laughs> I put some hot glue in there and that's, you know, hot glue comes off pretty easily, but it's gonna take a little bit of working um, to get it out. Wires here at the top. So that's important to note because when I put it in, I don't wanna put it in, I don't wanna put it in wrong. This board is fantastic. Um, you can see Emacs does a nice job of really kind of customizing everything. You know, it's it's super small, super lightweight, designed obviously for for this frame. I'm gonna stick the camera in. Uh, wires are at the top. It's important to note two slots here, one and two, and. Uh, looks like we can kind of change the camera angle a little bit so if I put it in this front slot it'll be forward right and I put it in this back slot it'll be a little bit more aggressive and that's actually what I want uh, since I've been flying this a while I know what I'm doing so I'm glad I noticed that all right all right so now finagling this in is not super easy uh, what I was doing with the old one is kind of getting it sideways and then working it into place. Um, kind of overshot there. All right, so I got my camera into place. Now what we're gonna need to do is kind of tuck these antennas in here and here. Um, and uh, get my board on. Okay, so I want my wires to go in pretty easily so I'm just gonna clip that and pass them through here I didn't I don't want to pull this off and I want to mess with pulling this off um, so a quick little snip I should be able to slide them through here no problem okay now I got my Okay, last thing I need to do here is plug my motors in, and that is simple enough. Into the spots. And now, time for my props. I'm going black on black. So I got, these are of course Emacs props. And they are the turtle mode props, which means uh, when I crash, not if, but when, um, I can go ahead and uh, look into uh, change colors. They've got white, black, blue, red, might even have a yellow or a green, something like that. But anyway, there are a handful of, there's blue, a uh, handful of different color options for you uh, for both uh, the, the frame uh, and the propellers. Hey, make sure... Uh, Make sure you check us out on halfchrome.com. We also do some writing for the Drone DJ. Um, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey, if you are not familiar with Good, uh, Good Venture Drones, you need to check them out because they are awesome. Team GVD all the way, baby. Happy flying.